want to see how I logged voltage data using an Arduino and a smart metering IC I've got from Tindy. Watch the video to find out. So I became interested in the voltage data after looking through the electrical distribution code and to see if my, the voltage I was receiving is within the limits. Equipment I've used is a Arduino with a built-in ASP8266 which I got from JCAR. I'm also using an ATM90E36 smart metering IC which I got from Tindy from uh, a sell seller called Watnik. I'll leave a link in the description for that one. And in the case is some PCB mount transformers, CTs, resistors and so on and so forth. There'll be a link in the description for more videos about that. The Arduino talks to the smart metering chip and requests the information, then sends it through the serial to the ESP826, which then posts it to ThinkSpeak. Alright, this is ThinkSpeak. Now you can sort of display the data to the public how you want, want but um, I've just you know done a couple of tables and a rough location of where I am, and this will be a link to the video that you're currently watching. Um, not really much to see, you just see the graph moving as it goes. So every five minutes or so it'll update and I'll get a new new little dot and it'll go. Right, once you've got all your data in the file you can download it but be sure to select your time zone and then your data will be correct for the time that you uploaded it to for you. When you've downloaded your data from ThingSpeak you can open up in Excel and once you've saved it as a different type of file, you can then start to manipulate the data. So here you can see I've made two graphs. One for the frequency, which you can see is up and down quite regularly all over the place, and one for the voltage. Now in the voltage you can see these definite sort of ups and downs, these big sharp, these straight lines. Now there, that would be due to voltage control in the network. So at the substations you'll know the big power transformers have tap changes and they'll have a predefined voltage that once it hits it'll go up and down and that's what you'll see is happening here. The ups and downs, so the big spikes and the big, big dips are called sags for the downs and swells for the up. Alright, so now this is an extract from the Victorian distribution network code. So this is straight out of it, and it tells us the system voltages, and then for those voltages, what the tolerance limits are. So we can see that for the steady state voltage, so this is really the only one that I can, I can check with the data that I'm collecting. So less than one minute, I haven't done less than one minute, so I can't collect that, but it's going to be the same. Less than 10 seconds, I have nowhere near enough data to have a look at that. Alright, so if we're just looking at this steady state voltage, so plus 13%, minus 10%. So if our system voltage is 230, then our ceiling would ceiling 13% would be 259.9, and, and a sag of 207 volts. So you got Alright, so if I've taken my data, from the graph, or from the actual column of data, I've taken my maximum voltage for that period of time. So this is a roughly a 24 hour day. All right, so this is 246 volts, or 246.19 volts is the highest I've got for that, that period of time. The minimum, 238.38. So the average voltage was 243. So that's well within the tolerance. Now looking at the frequency, the frequencies, the highest frequency recorded was 50.05 Hz and the lowest was 49.95. The average frequency was 50. So that's a pretty good balance. If you are interested in more of the distribution code, there'll be a link in the description to check that one out. I'll make a follow up video next week to report on the final results. And until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos.